Hey, TCS TV viewers, it's Dave and Ev from the camera store. How you doing, eh? Now we're coming to you from the wilderness of Calgary, Alberta to talk to you about some hits and misses of 2018. What better way than sit around a fire and throw some good Canadian axes and talk about the hits and misses, eh? So 2018 was a really big year in the camera business with all kinds of new releases. Uh, Canon and Nikon jumping into the full frame mirrorless market and of course Sony still rocking it with the a7 III series. Yeah, Sony is still kicking butt and I think the thing that was a big hit about their camera was that they created a professionally capable full frame mirrorless camera at an affordable price point. And they had the amazing eye autofocus which everybody seems to really latch on to. Yeah, now, something that's a really big hit for me, especially more of an old school kind of photographer, I like an optical viewfinder, but this is the mm -hmm. first generation where we're seeing with the Canon R and the, the Z, they put a lot of time and effort into great quality electronic viewfinders. That's a big hit for me. Yeah, now with Canon, their biggest hit, I think, was their RF lenses. They made some beautiful lenses, including the 50mm f1.2 lens. That is a gorgeous lens. I'm typically not a 50mm shooter. It's not really my range, but I couldn't take that lens off that camera. I was really impressed with it. Yeah, big hit for us. We can talk about hits and misses all day around this lovely fire we have going here. <laughs> but I have to say, one thing that definitely hit the bullseye is Fuji. Fuji with their X-T3 this year has knocked it out of the park. Yeah, and it's no secret, I <laughs> bought one. Um, but this camera is one of my favorite cameras to shoot with. And kudos to Fuji for paying attention to APS-C because they've created a really well-balanced camera that's good for photo and video. And their autofocusing system is great. And overall, it just has a lot of really great features that make it a bullseye on our list. Another thing Fuji did was they created an affordable medium format camera. So you can have your APS-C gorgeous X-T3 or if you get the GFX 50R, which was also a really nice camera to use. Yeah, no, I fell uh, kind of in love with that camera. I have to admit, when I started using it, I was like, oh, this thing's a brick. It's too big. It's just not that heavy, but it's just awkward and it's not meant for everything. Mm -hmm. But when you find the right location for it and the right situation for it, this thing is great. I think it's going to be a decent hit for a Fuji. It hasn't been all cameras this year that we feel are hits. Uh, Godox has been knocking it out of the park this year with all kinds. Uh, all their flashes and flash accessories. The uh, 860 flash is amazing and the brand new AD400 is a fantastic little studio flash that's battery operated and is great to carry in your kit. Yeah, as far as lighting accessories go, we fell in love with some little light torch accessories which are amazingly powerful LED lights. Um, that you can stick on your GoPro or regular camera and you can put them in your pocket. Yeah, they're rugged, waterproof, and they are a great accessory for all kinds of things. Yeah, those were definitely a hit. Companies like DJI are knocking out of the park as well. They're a big hit this year. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the Mavic 2 Pro, the Ronin S is the most sought after stabilizer we have. Yeah, and the little pocket guy. The new pocket guy we just got in is gonna change things a lot. That's yeah. really showing a ton you of promise. You can shoot 4K 60 That's and it's so tiny and you can like put it on your little backpack strap and it's gonna be cool. I, I can't wait to actually get one myself actually. It's one of the, the, the few things that I'm just chomping at the bit to it's get. Almost like, it's almost like a James Bond camera. Another big hit has been lenses overall. There's been some great third-party lenses and some great lenses in terms of getting bigger ones smaller and smaller ones bigger. <laughs> so we've been spoiled with uh, <laughs> lenses this year. Uh, Sony brought their 400 2.8, which is a much lighter version than the we've ever seen before. And that's yeah. been amazing. Uh, we've also seen companies like Nikon do the 500 PF, which is mm -hmm. a 500 mil lens that feels like it's half the size of what it should be. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. And then Sony even came out with the 24 millimeter prime. That's their first G Master lens that's small and compact and really fits the form factor of their mirrorless cameras. So as we're getting this fire going some more, um, I want to talk to you guys about some of the misses. <laughs> um, there were a lot. I mean, there was a lot of good stuff, but there was some, some major misses. Um, I think the first one we have to talk about, as much as you love the Canon EOS R, <laughs> that touch bar is the dumbest thing ever. The multifunction bar, I have to admit, is a big miss for me. Uh, I, found, I don't know what they were thinking. I, I actually enjoy the camera when I'm shooting with it, and I love the optics, of course, but that multifunction bar, I'm just, I'm just not digging it. I know, even like the biggest fan of the camera, our good friend Mike Drew, he turns it off, and he's the biggest user of that camera. So I think that was a big miss for Canon, and I hope that they just 
don't put that on their cameras ever again. So one thing that's a big miss, I think, on a lot of cameras is the single card slot. Now that has polarized the internet like crazy. Yeah, anything with one card slot was basically a miss as far as the internet's concerned. Um, slot shaming, I think you said one time. I did not say that. <laughs> that was that was someone else. That was not me. I did not say that. But um, but yeah, anything with one card slot, I think everyone can agree it was a miss. Hey, you know what the uh, sound of silence is in the camera world? What? Olympus. Yeah, we're we're to Olympus. <laughs> I mean, even at Photokina, you had a great like touch experience thing, but you didn't announce any new gear. We yeah. want some gear. 2018 was pretty quiet amongst those guys. Now Fujifilm, they did a lot of things right this year, but they did have a miss. The autofocusing system on the X-T100 and XF10. They could have had a hit on their hands, but yeah, the autofocus system was so frustrating to work with and it drove me crazy. Yeah, if they put the X-T3 autofocusing system <laughs> into it, then maybe they would have a hit on their hands, but for now, it was a miss. Big miss. Well, that about wraps up our list of 2018 hits and misses. Yeah, these are things that we thought were talked about a lot and were sort of big hits and misses in, the, in our little world. Yeah, but we want to know what you thought from your experiences or things that you've seen in the reviews. So comment below, let us know what your hits and misses are of 2018. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, we love getting the likes. Yay! And if you're new <laughs> to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And we'll catch you again soon, eh? Take care, eh? Hey, TCS TV viewers, it's Dave Anna from the... Oh, the... <laughs> <laughs>